Okay, welcome to Space Invaders Part 12. Uh, again, this part of the uh, series is being recorded five years after the original series. I'm here to kind of fix some of the mistakes I made years and years ago and to kind of address a, a lot of the questions that I've gotten over the years on this particular tutorial, which has proven to be uh, extremely popular. Uh, uh, I think actually Pong is better, but you know, I'm glad people are tuning in. So anyway, let's get going. Um, so let's take a look at what we have right now. And it's working. Um, in the last video, fix the uh, player so that it moves like uh, Space Invaders did continuously instead of uh, like a little bit at a time. As you can see, I'm not very good at this game. Um, yeah, okay, so that's what we have. Um, but this is very unlike the original Space Invaders. Um, there should be rows of aliens here in the program instead of just, uh, you know, a few aliens. Um, so let's go ahead and fix that. Um, unfortunately, it's not a, it's not a difficult fix, um, but uh, it takes a little bit of math, a little bit of, little bit of uh, basic math. Uh, and then we're also going to learn, once we start putting some more aliens on the screen, it's going to slow down. Um, so we'll learn how to speed up the program uh, as, as we go along. So uh, let's take care of the aliens first. Uh, so here um, we've got where we create the enemies. And what I want to do is I want to create 30 enemies uh, instead of 5. Okay, Because the original game had a ton of enemies up at the top. Um, so this part of the code is still going to work. It's still going to create uh, the number of enemies that we need. Uh, and you can see here um, what it does is it's going to put them in a random uh, location. So if I run this, um, this is not what we want. We're going to have a ton of aliens. Okay, and actually it looks a little bit more like the original program just because it, it kind of they kind of moved weird like that because the, uh, the system was so slow back then. But anyway, um, let's get rid of that. So what I want to do is, actually let me, I should have kept that on the screen, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, and I'm going to move across, and I'm going to put 10 aliens here, I'm going to put 10 aliens here, and 10 aliens here. And I'm going to do that with a little bit of loops and a little bit of mathematics. Okay, so now I've already done this, uh, tested it in another program. Um, so I have the numbers, you know, pretty much how I like them. So what I'm doing is I'm doing enemy start x so that's the starting coordinate of the first enemy here in the top left and I used minus 200 and I have enemy start y and that was 250 is what I had decided on and then I gotta keep track of which enemy I'm putting on the screen and you'll see why in a second okay so again, I, I played around with the numbers. I found some numbers that I liked. Um, you can go ahead and play around with them as you like. Uh, something to consider, uh, notice I type very long uh, variable names because it makes my code easier to read. I could have called this ESX, ESY, and EN, and I see all kinds of weird combinations, um, but it really is really helpful if, you know, like me, you're coming back five years later um, to try to understand what your, your code is doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, instead of x equals a random number, watch what I do here. Enemy start x. Okay, so for the first enemy, it's gonna be minus 200. Okay. And then I'm gonna put plus 50 times enemy number. Okay. So what's going to happen, the first enemy is actually number 0. So the first enemy is minus 200 plus 50 times 0 is 0. And then when it comes around again, the second enemy, which is going to be number 1, it's going to be enemy start x plus 50 times 1. So it's going to move over and move over and move over and move over. Okay. And so then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say y equals, uh, where's that, enemy start y. Okay. Now, I'm going to run this, and it's, it's not done yet. So I'm going to run it and show you what happens. Nothing. Okay, because I missed something. All right. Um, so I put them all on top of each other. Uh, so what I got to do is at the end of this, I have to say, 
um, enemy number plus equals one. So I gotta increment uh, the enemy number each time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run that again. And so you should see them form a row. Now you can see they went off the screen. So yeah, and then it's gonna come down. So you gotta so we gotta do ten, then come down, do ten, then come down. Okay. So you see there's a few problems with the code. Um, so what I wanna do uh, is so I'm gonna say update the enemy number, the enemy number. Okay. So if the enemy number equals 10. So remember, every 10 enemies I want to drop down. Okay. I set enemy. Actually, I don't need to do that. Uh, basically, enemy start y minus equals 50. So every 10. Every 10 in aliens, it's going to drop down. Actually, I do need this right now that I realize it. Enemy start x minus equals 200. And now I got to move everything over to. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. Uh, I can leave that like that. Sorry. And then I say enemy number equals 0. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm saying 0, up, actually up to 9. It's 10, come back to 0, all the way up, come back to 0, all the way over. Okay. I think this is, oh, and then I have to here, I have to do, no, I don't have to do that, that's fine. I think that's all I need to do. So that, was, that was a bit more, it took me a while to figure that out, actually. Um, okay, there we go. And it's a little bit off-centered, so why don't we change that? Sorry, that's, that's bugging me. Um, so we say enemy start x equals minus, let's try minus 225. Let's see if that does it. And again, this is the process. You know, it's Yeah, that's much better. Okay, look at that, I like that. Okay, so we can see we've got the aliens and they are going across the screen. Actually, it looks a little bit like the old school um, <laughs> Space Invaders, just the way it's going slow. Uh, now you can see how things have slowed down, but that's okay. Now let's see if they reverse. Okay, so they are reversing, and we can leave it at that. I had, oh, that I don't, I forgot about that. I don't like that. Um, here's the other thing is, I don't want this alien uh, to come back on the screen um, like that. So I think that's probably the next thing I need to do. And um, interesting. All right, let's, that's working. So this is a little bit different than how I had practiced. Um, but anyway, uh, so why don't we do that? Let's fix that. So I'm going to come down to, okay, if there's a collision between the bullet and the enemy, uh, we set the bullet. Okay. What we do here is the enemy is, uh, how can I put it? The enemy is set to a random position. Okay. So, now the easiest thing to do at this point would be to move the enemy um, like off the screen somehow and to just so we, we don't see it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the enemy uh, into the center, so zero, and I'm going to put it like way off the screen for now, like 5,000. Let's make it 10,000 just to be safe um, so we never see it again. Um, now this again, this isn't an ideal way of doing it, but Based on what you know, I wrote originally, this is probably the easiest. So let's run that and see if it works. Now we might have some problems later with that, but let's uh, save that for later because we still have a few other things. All right, so we can watch this go super duper slow. Oh, I, did I really? <laughs> okay, I missed them all. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's try that again. Oh, I think I'm going to miss them again. Oh my gosh. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and do the uh, speed it up first, and then we can go from there. Um, so the reason that it is running slowly uh, is just the way that the turtle module works. Um, it updates the screen at its own kind of pace. Uh, and since we have a lot of objects on it, it's 
you know it's updating when we don't need things to be updated etc etc so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called win tracer so up here where we set up the screen we're going to put w uh, wn.tracer0 and what that does is it shuts off all of the screen updates so if you run the program now this is what you're going to see yeah nothing okay so and it might lock up um, terminate okay all right so what you have to do is inside the while true loop way down here okay you're going to put win dot update no zero just nothing okay now i'm going to run it and now watch what happens watch carefully okay so you can see how things now are moving just super fast which is obviously not quite what we want okay so we okay so we sped up the program and aliens are running off the screen so what we got to do is basically just change the speed now um, so for example for on my computer now your computer might be different um, so on my computer uh, we set the what do we I'm gonna set the enemy speed it's two I'm gonna try and set that to 0.2 it's on my computer's got to be a pretty low number um, your computer might be slower it might be faster um, so this number could be very very small based on the speed of your computer. Um, the bullet speed, I'm gonna set that to, I'm gonna try five. Um, and the player, I'll try like minus three and plus three. It's kind of the relative speeds of everything. Maybe the bullet should be faster. Let's make it seven. Um, so anyway, let's try it. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit more like Space Invaders was back in the day. Okay, so now keep in mind, all of the aliens are at the top of the screen. Now, I don't know, this is probably going to pro cause a problem later. I know how to fix it, um, but let's get to that bridge, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, and it's still reversing, which is good. And again, um, some of the structures, you know, the computer, like the, the programming structures I used back then, five years ago, um, I didn't particularly, I wouldn't particularly do now because I know more, um, but they worked, which, which is all, you know, it's always a good result. So again, with the speed, you just want to kind of play around and find the numbers that work on your computer. Um, but the, relatively speaking, the bullet's going to be about two to two and a half times faster than the player, um, and the enemies are going to be about about a tenth of the speed of the of the uh, player. In this case, it's uh, about 0 0.06. But you get the idea. Um, so that's it. Um, that's it for this one. So we have now have multiple invaders in multiple rows which is what Space Invaders is supposed to look like. Uh, and we have been able to speed up the program using Win Tracer. Uh, and again, zero shuts off all updates and lets us control when we update it. And so what we want to do is update it uh, each time through the loop. Um, and then that gives us a much smoother animation, uh, a much faster animation as well. Okay, so yeah, so there you go. That's part 12. Um, Part 13 will be coming, uh, maybe not today, but definitely will be coming soon, so stay tuned.